Hi, in this video, we're going to do a math problem regarding circles. This one is pretty simple. It's not the easiest one, um, but it's definitely not um, the hardest one either. So let's go ahead and work through it. The question is to find the equation of a circle. with center, it's really stormy out there. You hear thunder, I don't know if you heard that thunder, but it's pretty, pretty stormy. Two comma negative one. Okay, so find the equation of a circle with center two comma negative one. It goes through, so it also goes through or passes through the point five comma three. Okay, so it's also going to go through that point or pass uh, through that point. All right, let's go ahead and solve this solution. So let's start off by writing down the equation of a circle. So it's really important to know the formula because once you know the formula, that can kind of help you uh, figure out what, what you need and what's missing. So the formula for the equation of a circle is parentheses x minus h in that quantity is squared plus parentheses y minus k in that quantity is squared it's equal to r squared, okay? So now what we can do is we can replace h and k with the actual numbers, right? So we have h, k. So h is 2 and k is negative 1. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So it'll be x minus 2 quantity squared, okay, plus, and then y minus k. However, the k is negative 1, so it'll be plus 1, and that quantity is squared equals r squared. So now we just have to find um, r, we have to find r. So what we can do now is we can just take these numbers, uh, five and three, and plug them in for x and y, and we can solve for r. The reason we can do that is because this actually, um, you know, this, this equation, the circle passes through this point, right? So that means that if you plug in this point into this equation, it should be a true statement because this point lies on the equation of the circle. But the circle is the set of all points in the plane that satisfy this equation, right? So uh, this point, 5 comma 3, is in that set, right? That's what it means to say that it goes through 5 comma 3. So we can actually plug this into the equation and it's true. Okay, now that I've said that like twice and you definitely get it, I hope, let's go ahead and plug in that 5 and that 3 into the equation for x and y and solve for the radius, which is r. So um, doing that, we're just going to get... 5 minus 2 quantity squared plus 3 plus 1 quantity squared equals r squared. Again, what we've done here is we've taken the 5 and the 3, we've plugged it in for x and y. 5 minus 2 quantity squared, you know, let me just say here, uh, just goes through goes through 5 comma 3. Hence, just just to just to just to add a little bit of clarity here, you know, what's going on. Um, 5 minus 2 is 3, so we get 3 squared, which is 9, but I'll write it like this. This is 9 plus 16 equals r squared. So r squared is equal to 25. So r is going to be 5. It's plus or minus 5, but we're only going to take um, the plus. Okay, so now we have r. And so we're good, right? So, so we're good. We just take the r and plug it back in here, and we're, and we're golden, right? So this is going to be x minus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 1 quantity squared equals 25. Really nice, right? Really beautiful solution. Um, nice and clean. That would be the answer to this problem, right? That would be the equation of the circle uh, with center two comma negative one that goes to the ordered pair five, three. So yeah, pretty cool. Hopefully you've learned some math by watching this video. Check out my courses. Links are in the description of this video. As always, keep doing mathematics.